Hello, this is Fred Lears of Health Products Distributors with another Creating Health Naturally video. And today we are in the kitchen once again, and today we are making lemonade. Now it's summer, it's warm, people love lemonade, I love lemonade, but why are we making lemonade? Well, one of the things that I love to do multiple times a year, but especially in the summer, is do what we call the Master Cleanse. Um, there was a book written, I think, in the 1940s called The Master Cleanser by Stanley Burroughs, in which he documents the benefits of drinking lemonade. And lemonade can do many, many wonderful things for you. It is especially valuable uh, for cleansing the kidneys and the bladder system and the entire urinary tract. And I have written extensively on kidney cleansing, and most of the kidney cleanses that I've done and that I know of incorporate lemonade along with various uh, kidney teas, kidney tinctures and herbs, um, herbs like uva ursi, herbs like parsley, um, corn silk, and juniper berries and things like that. But there's another really good reason to do the lemonade diet or at least to drink large quantities of lemonade whenever you can and that is alkalinity because Lemons and limes are filled with minerals, and they're plant foods. And so although they're acidic in the, in the mouth, and if you measure them using pH paper, um, they are alkaline-forming in the body, extremely alkaline-forming. And this is, this, is, this is an extreme benefit to the body, because when you're alkaline and when your pH is around 7.45 to 7.5 or 6, or even all the way on up to, say, 8 for periods of time, you just feel good. Alkalinity drives oxygenation in the body. Um, and it, by driving oxygenation, it fills the cells with oxygen. And it really is a preventive in terms of um, keeping you healthy. And we're supposed to be alkaline. Everybody, you know, who writes about this and the scientific evidence shows, you need an alkalinity of 7.45 or higher. Um, and you have to balance the acidity with the alkalinity in your diet. So meats and carbohydrates tend to be acid forming and um, vegetables and especially um, high potassium fruits and vegetables drive alkalinity. So you want to incorporate enough of these high potassium foods so that you can maintain your alkalinity. And drinking lemonade is a great way to do that and it, it tastes wonderful and it's refreshing. So today, I'm actually making lemonade, but I'm actually using limes because that's what I have on hand. So what we start with is, and I'm following the recipe of the Master Cleanser, which is eight ounces of water, two tablespoons of grade B maple syrup. Here's my organic grade B maple syrup, which actually, I have a little side note, recently they've changed the designation, and now what you actually want is the grade A and you want the grade A specifically amber color, rich taste. So, except no other, except the grade A amber color, rich taste, because there are several grade A's now. The configurations and designations have changed, so you can't just go with grade B anymore because grade B ain't what it used to be. Okay, so two tablespoons of the organic grade B maple syrup, eight ounces of water, and um, you're welcome to modify the recipe, but I like to start with the basic recipe from the Master Cleanser. Um, I will often add 16 ounces of water because it's a little less sweet and it's more hydrating in terms of providing more water during the hot weather, but perhaps other times of year, maybe in the spring or fall, you just want to stick with a regular recipe. And of course, um, two tablespoons of lime juice and a pinch of cayenne pepper now I have a brand of cayenne pepper that I like. This is the Dr. Schultz variety because it's organic and it's ultra hot. And I like ultra hot. It's mostly habanero, um, but it's got Thai reds and um, jalapenos and African bird peppers and a few other types of pepper. But, you know, in the early days of when I first started, I would just use the regular 90,000 organic that you can get almost anywhere. It's fairly mild, but it still gives you a nice little jolt um, if you're a newbie. All right, so um, what I do is I cut the lemons, or limes in this case, 
And, you know, I like to use a handy dandy little citrus juicer. It's just a hand press, hand juicer. Now, I actually have um, other pieces of equipment that I can use to squeeze these. Some are electric, some are, you know, press presses. But I like the simplicity um, of this. It's portable, it can be used anywhere. And in a worst case scenario, and I've done this before, I cut the lemon or lime in half and I simply squeeze it into the glass. You know, I mean, this doesn't have to be complicated. All right, so I've actually pre-squeezed some lemon juice, or actually lime juice, and so I'm gonna measure that out into my glass. So here's my glass. And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of the lime juice. Okay. There we go. Now, actually, I can get about two tablespoons of lime juice from one lime. These are very juicy limes. Um, but it's nice to cut two because then you might have extra to share with someone else. Or you might want another glass. All right, so I have pre-measured eight ounces of water in my Pyrex mug. And I will pour that into my mason jar. And believe it or not, we're almost done. We add the maple syrup at two tablespoons. Which some people might find a bit sweet. Um, that's why I like to use 16 ounces of water oftentimes. Um, and occasionally I will modify the recipe to maybe use a tablespoon and a half or even just a tablespoon depending on how I'm feeling. All right, now this is optional. Um, many of the recipes um, call for a pinch of cayenne. The official master cleanser recipe in the Stanley Burroughs book calls for a quarter teaspoon. Probably not rounded. This is potent stuff. So here's my cayenne pepper. And give that a little stir. All right, here is my lemonade. Now, I often like to use a straw. It keeps the, uh, the maple syrup off my teeth, but I don't have one right now, so I'm just going to give it a whirl. Ah, that is really good lemonade. And one thing I've discovered recently for driving alkalinity is a product from our company called PH Adjust. It looks like this. This is the container, and it's actually a fluffy white powder. It's a very simple product. It's got a scoop in there, and it has potassium, magnesium, and sodium. And the forms are potassium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate, magnesium carbonate, and potassium glycinate. And these minerals, not unlike the minerals in lemons and limes, are highly alkaline forming. And so, you know, um, when, I, when I'm not doing a lemonade diet, I typically take the pH adjust product to keep myself alkaline. Now, when I'm doing lemonade, and I must say that I just uh, recently completed a 15-day lemonade diet, Master Cleanse, um, you can go longer, and I've gone longer, but this year, 15 days uh, was it. Um, I was extremely alkaline. But what I found was is that, you know, as the days progressed, I actually began adding pH adjust either directly into my lemonade or in water on the side. Um, so it's not technically part of the master cleanse. However, it does an excellent job at keeping extremely alkaline. Now, I do use litmus paper to test my pH, so I'm not too high and I'm not too low. And I found that I was in a really excellent position especially when I added the pH adjust to my lemonade diet. However, the lemonade diet, I must add, was extremely alkaline forming in and of itself. But I just wanted to share these two modalities for driving alkalinity and also share my knowledge of the master cleanse because there are people who've done the master cleanse for say three days, there are people who can do it for weeks, and in some cases, some people have done it for months. Um, if you're gonna go that long, you might wanna 
consult your healthcare professional. Um, and if you've done those things before, they've done a number of weeks before, go for it. Have a great time. It's summer, it's warm, lemonade and limeade is refreshing. So um, have at it, enjoy, and be alkaline. Thank you very much. This is Fred Lears. Hope you enjoyed this video.